Hello, and this is Matt Hoos here with Sawhorse. I've got an exciting product I want to show to you today. It's called Wahoo Decks. Um, so we've got this rooftop deck and I've installed this several times before. Um, I've got the instructions here. So I'm gonna go over some of the things that um, we're not necessarily clear in the instructions. I'm not necessarily rewriting the instru these instructions. I think they're, they're fine the way they are. Um, however, I'd like to suggest some improvements to them for your installation especially when it comes to sealing, water penetrations, um, and whatnot. Because this product is going to install not only as a deck, but also a roof. So it needs to be installed with water in mind. So whenever you think about water, especially on a roof or siding, how can water get into the building structure? We need to eliminate all those possibilities. One, by not allowing paths for the water to go through the membrane, through the deck, into the structure, but also making sure that the perimeter and everything's installed correctly and with a good seal. So let's get started. So here are the suggested tools, tape measure, jewel driver, circular saw, carbide tip, gloves, several types of hammer, framing square, and silicone caulk. So um, what I ended up doing is bringing a um, circular saw and a miter saw. I put metal blades on both of them. I have the hammers. Um, I would also suggest maybe some marking utensils, uh, pencil. I wouldn't recommend putting anything permanent because you don't have to worry about it later. Um, and lots of uh, exterior flashing sealant. So this is the one thing I'm going to talk about today is flashing sealant, how to put lots of that on. Um, because they do talk about it in instructions, but I don't think they put a heavy emphasis on that. And most importantly, we've got the decking material itself. So this is where the deck's gonna go down. You do see the skirt board in this particular clip. We're gonna remove that, show you how to install the flashing properly, sealant, and also then finally putting on the handrail. So you can see that we've designed this with Wahoo in mind. A lot of designs that we've worked on weren't necessarily designed for Wahoo. And what I mean by that is I have the wing walls on both sides. Now, originally we didn't have this knee wall on the side. This roof is going all the way down. So that was gonna be a challenge. One, how the decking was going to go up against that. So we changed the design and added these two parapets on the other side, the little wing walls. And so basically we have three sides that we can flash to. So we've got the back that goes into the house and the, and the two other sides. Now, once we put the decking down, we're gonna put the flashing up and seal it up. So it should be nice and tight. And we've also gonna put a handrail across the back over here. This handrail is gonna be installed in such a way that I'm only attaching to these sides, these wing walls, making a penetration in the middle. And we'll talk about that um, probably for about two or three minutes, exactly how we are going to make that penetration through the decking into the membrane in such a way where water is not going to get through. Now I pre-staged this because this is on the third floor. I'm going to go ahead and get everything moved out of the way, clean off the surface. Now one thing I didn't um, talk about that's not in the instructions is the ice and water shield membrane that we put down. We had our roofer put that down. Now they don't say that you actually need that. However, I don't like leaks. I don't like any potential water getting through. That's just an extra membrane that I'm putting down just in case water does somehow get around our flashing, all of our sealant. It'll hit that and drain off hopefully and then so we don't have to worry about water getting into the main house now we've had this ice and water shield down for about three months no leaks on the inside so we know that it does in fact work and with the extra layer of wahoo on the top it should make it even stronger more impenetrable and we don't have to worry about water getting into the structure so they provided these self-tapping stainless steel screws we're going to use those all on the, the decking i've got a board that we're, we've marked out every 24 inches on the board that way i can just use that as a guide to make sure that we're doing this every 24 inches using an impact wrench now it says you don't need to pre-drill if you have something that goes at a high speed now if you're using a low speed drill you probably want to pre-drill um, but if you have a high speed drill or an impact wrench you don't need to drill with these so we're going to go ahead and get these started get the starter board started and start laying the rest of them out. To save my time for the installation, I ordered all of these pre-cut from the manufacturer. So I spoke to my rep from Wahoo, gave me the exact dimensions of the length that I need. I left a couple inch overhangs. I want this to go over and into the gutters on the other side of this. So the first piece that we're gonna start with is the starter piece. And this has a unique profile. You can take a look at it. It's a little bit different than the other ones. It's rounded on this side and this is where the gutter is so all the water that comes off or that is going to get in here is going to get into this gutter and this has a gentle slope all the way to the edge of the deck now on this one i believe we did quarter inch per foot i want to say you can probably go down to an eighth inch per foot but definitely check with the manufacturer um, to make sure that you have enough slope on the deck now i definitely recommend having this pre-sloped um, instead of trying to use 
uh, boards underneath us. So we pre-sloped the decking, the framing, put the ice and water shield on top of that. And that way this is gonna sit directly on top of the sloped ice and water shield. And we don't have to worry about doing any other framing up here at all. So what we're gonna do is lay this one out. I'm gonna take some measurements, see if I need to make any adjustments. Hopefully I don't have to make a cut on the other side and it lines up perfectly because these are all approximately six inches wide. So I'm gonna lay these out, kind of dry lay it out and start screwing it down. All right, so I laid everything out and make sure that we have the right amount of boards and we've got the starter board. So I put the starter board in place right here. Now, if you look at the instructions, it actually is, we're, we're skipping something that's in the instructions. The reason is, is because this ledger board that you have is if you actually have a ledger on top of a deck. Now, in this case, we've got something even better. We've got a membrane on top of the decking, which is, we have finished space below here. So we've got ice and water shield going up. We've got flashing in the corners. So it's better than this ledger board. So we're not actually using this ledger board. Now, if you're installing a deck and you have like a deck that where, where it's finished below it, or even it's not finished below it, you do want to have the ledger board. because what that, that does is helps keep the water um, from going into the wall assembly and also rotting out the band. But in this case, we already have all this flashing here. So we're, so we're in good shape. So some of the things we need to do to get started, we've got our drill but also we wanna make sure we have our plugs ready. These plugs right here are what goes into this groove assembly. So you can see you've got this tape on it. It's got some double stick tape on there, some self sealing tape. So what we do is we pull this off and you see it's got some adhesive on there. And we're going to stick this at the very end right there. Now this wants to stick to everything. So I recommend just trying to shove it all the way down make sure it has a good seal now for me that's not enough so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some sealant across the back and on the sides as well again i just want to be safe this is going to help most water from going back into that area but i'm going to add a little bit of flashing sealant just to be safe and that's one of the things that i like to do to make the system just a little bit better now the part of the instructions that i'm going to follow you've got is this drip edge which is a, which is going to be on the edge of the decking and what this is going to allow is like if you ever have a gutter this the gutter can tuck up underneath that and that way even though we have flashing on the edge having the drip edge allows this to go into the gutter and, and also just make sure that you've always got flashing into the gutter going all the way down so it's a good practice to put that in this case, it's not absolutely necessary, but it is going to look good. So what we're gonna do is quickly cut that, attach that, that drip edge to the decking, and then start laying the boards out. So we got two pieces of flashing on the side and we put a lot of sealant. Now what I recommend, and this is not necessarily in the instructions, is to go back and put an additional bead of sealant at the edge. Because what happens is this material expands and contracts. Even though the sealant does have a memory, I have gone back years later and tested. And some of the areas the sealant does not maintain its adhesion over the years. So I recommend putting, well, first of all, inspecting it over the years, but also put in an additional bead of sealant. Now I'm about to show you how we're gonna install this last piece. Now this is the piece that goes up to the house where it's gonna cap off all the end pieces that we cut. Now what we wanna do is put, I'm gonna put a bead of sealant in the corner, sealant across the top, and lots of sealant in the bottom. There's no reason to be conservative on the sealant, put more sealant than you think you need, and it's probably not even enough. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with putting too much sealant because that's only going to prevent water from getting in and this is your last line of defense from water getting into the house. Alright, so once you have all the sealant in place, you need to install the last piece of flashing um, before it dries. So you put the sealant down, put the flashing in place. Now when you, screw it in, when you screw it in, you need to screw it in on the vertical side, not the horizontal plane. Because if you screw it into the horizontal plane, and I've seen some of my crews try to do this, water can get through there get through the flashing and into the decking and potentially cause some leaks which is not good so also you, what you need to keep in mind is that this flashing or that piece of uh, extruded aluminum that comes from the manufacturer it is exactly 90 degrees so make sure you have extra sealant underneath it that way because when you've got the slope of the deck itself added to the 90 degree angle 
Um, you're probably at 92 to 95 degrees, depending on what slope you have there. So one of the things that I like to do is add an extra bead of sealant at the front of the flashing. Um, again, because that's that it's going to open up just a little bit because it's more than 90 degrees right there. And this is going to prevent water getting into the house when you have lots of wind or uh, wind with rain and it's not going to find its way underneath the flashing. All right, we've got the tape over the flashing and we nailed the siding back up, the trim board on the bottom. There's a little bit of a gap at the bottom so it can breathe a little bit, but we're going to continue this tape all the way down across the flashing and on the other side as well. All right, just wrapped up all the components of the deck itself. Next is to do the handrail. Um, and also the handrail that came with the Wahoo system. Now I'm gonna show you a couple important things that you need to worry about when installing this. So not really too worried about the penetrations hitting the side, but you see where the post is drilled through here. Well, this has to drill through the deck and all the way through the decking. So when you're marking exactly where to put these base plates, you need to keep in mind that there is an internal gutter system, just like we pointed out at the beginning of this video. So when you're installing this base plate, make sure that none of those bolts go through the gutter system. They can go through the decking into the deck below. Not a problem. You're going to have lots of silicone around the base plate so water can't get through there, but you absolutely cannot drill through into the gutter system. Otherwise, you will have leaks in the future. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. There's a few things I'm going to recommend to the manufacturer about how the flashing details could be a little bit better, but again, overall I'll give this deck an A or the product an A, where most products I give at least a C or maybe even D because I know they're going to leak. Now this product I know is not going to leak. Other things I like about the Wahoo system, it's aluminum, it's not steel. You don't have to worry about it rusting. Aluminum doesn't oxidize the same way steel does, and it's going to last a long time. So this, this aluminum is going to last a long time. So hopefully the Owners love this, get to enjoy their view of Atlanta. You can see the view of Atlanta behind me. Um, so if you guys like this video, um, really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to us and give us a thumbs up. Thanks again.